Welcome to the Transform Our World podcast with Ed Silvoso. Ecclesia everyone, every day, everywhere. We have so much evil going on in the world today, not just in people, but in visible evil with the virus and all that. I mean, the whole world is in chaos. How can we overcome? I have very good news that come from nowhere else but the Word of God. The Bible says in Isaiah 10.27 that the anointing breaks the yoke. What is the anointing? The anointing is the breath of God in us. You see, when God breathed on, on Adam before he had any life, clay became a living creature. And it's the Holy Spirit that empowers us. And I have uh, a passage in the Bible. In 1 Samuel chapter 19, I mean, David has become very famous because in the previous chapter, he defeated the Philistines. And people began to say, hey, Saul killed a thousand, but David killed 10,000. And jealousy came into, David, into Saul's heart. David was somebody, another person in Saul's household. In fact, he was married to Saul's daughter. But Saul became possessed by a demon. And while David is praising God and worshiping and playing the harp, Saul tried to kill him, not only once, but several times. And then at one point, his wife, very practical lady, says, Honey, you better flee because he's coming and he's going to kill you. And what she did, she put an idol that was in the house, in bed, pretending to be David, and David escaped through the window. Now Saul, who is full of anger, sends a company of soldiers to get David, and the wife says, hey, he's sick in bed. And, 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 and they saw the idol there or whatever, so they reported back he cannot come because he's sick in bed. Saul says, I want him, and I want him now. Bring him to me on his bed. Well, when they go there, they discover that he's not there. So Saul pressures his If he goes, <clears throat> very important point, David has gone to be with the prophet Samuel. When you are in trouble, go to people that have the anointed. Go to people that walk close to God. And so Saul says, okay, I know where he is, and listen to this. He sends an army to get David. And when the army gets there, humanly speaking, I mean, David was toast, but David had the anointing. The Bible says the anointing breaks the yoke. The Bible says greater is he who is in us than the one who is in the world. And look at this, 1 Samuel 19, the entire army that came to capture and maybe kill David, they begin to prophesy because David is prophesying. The anointing is contagious. So when Saul finds out, he sends a second army. And when the army gets within anointing distance, you talk about social distancing, I'm talking about a spiritual proximity, that second army begins to prophesy. Isn't that powerful? So Saul finally said something like this, when I want something done, I better do it myself. And now Saul, who is demonized, possessed by demons, a murderer, comes to get David. But when he gets within anointing range, Saul, the murderer, begins to prophesy. That's what the anointing does. And that's why in this hour, don't let people that are influenced by evil spirits tell you what the outcome is. I mean, be filled with the Holy Spirit. Walk around people that have the right anointing. And when they come to you, uh, newspaper people, uh, politicians, CEOs, I mean, the anointing in you will touch them without you touching them and not breaking any regulations. You say, well, how can that be? Well, we know that it happens, but it's biblical. Do you realize that Peter's shadow healed people? He never touched them. The anointing was in him and got transferred through the shadow. Paul's garments, Paul was working, building tents, 
and the perspiration impregnated the garments and the garments were taken to people and they touched people and those who were oppressed by demons got delivered, those who were ill got made well. Today we don't have to touch people, today we should use our iPhones. Every text message, every short video clip, every Zoom call, if you are filled with the Holy Spirit, if you're walking in the company of the people that are worshiping God when there is murder intent all around us, you will transform those around you. Yes, my friend, pause for a moment. Have you been listening too much to the news? The news can only report what is in the natural. And in order to catch your attention, they exaggerate what could happen tomorrow. But our God is on the throne. Our Lord Jesus save us. The Holy Spirit indwells us. And now it's about time. As a idea, wherever we are, to be so filled with the Holy Spirit that those that come to us control, influence, dominated by the world, the flesh, or even demons, will be joined to the company of those that worship God. So Isaiah 10, 27, the anointed, the anointed of God breaks the yoke. Right now, pause and ask the Holy Spirit, fill me, fill me, fill me to the point of overflow, and then begin to prophesy and to glorify God, and praise and worship, and get your sickness from God, and everybody and everything around you will be impacted. Let's do it. Thank you for listening to today's edition of the Transform Our World podcast with Ed Silvoso. Ecclesia everyone, every day, everywhere. We invite you to make your own home in Ecclesia, a place where the presence and power of the Lord Jesus dwells every day. Then visit us at transformourworld.org or Ecclesia Everywhere on Facebook to join a massive movement of believers who are changing our world for the better because it really is God's time for you, your family, your neighborhood, and nation.